Recently, Ludia sent out, or Jurassic World Live, sent out a tweet about what we can expect over the next two weeks as far as hybrids are concerned. And what I mean is they gave us two missing ingredients that create a hybrid similar to previously with the Dimodactylus. And for this one, by all accounts, it looks like the Draco Ceratops. So what I want to do is, first of all, I've got all the ingredients here for the Draco Ceratops. It's Triceratops Gen 2, Draco Rex Gen 2, which are going to create the Draco Ceratops. And then I'm going to throw Raja into this for the one, first of two different strike towers that are happening today. This is going to be a rare incubator. And kind of what I, what I want to talk about is the sum of these parts and the whole. So I've never used Triceratops Gen 2 actually. I think this is Rampage. <laughs> Rampage for two times damage. And I could be in a little bit of trouble here because I never did look to see exactly what it was. But Triceratops Gen 2 has Strike. It has Rampage and it has Swap and Stun. And I'm gonna go ahead and just swap in my Draco Rex Gen 2 here to knock this thing out. And they did a swap in as well. I, I really should have actually looked at this Strike Tower <laughs> and planned a little bit better. Because this is not well planned. Hopefully I go first and I don't. If I can survive this attack, which I barely, barely do, I'm going to get the knockout here, which is good. Not really sure what I'm going to do next, though. That sun is so bright. Let me just do this, but, like, really, the sun is super, super bright. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to knock this tower out. I, I, I really should have looked. Maybe I can turn so the sun's just not directly in my face there. Well, how about that? Um, I need to be a little bit faster here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's nothing but swaps. And this is what happens when you legit don't even look at the tower. <laughs> you just go full blow into it. So, um, I feel like I'm in quite a bit of trouble here. I don't know that I am. But, let's see if I can impact and run. Cleanse. I think cleansing impact is going to be good enough here. Especially if I'm going to crit. And what I want to talk about is, you guys know about Draco Rex Gen 2. It is ridiculously strong for a common. And... Now I'm going to impact and run, which is going to put me into Raja. But probably nobody has ever used Triceratops Gen 2. I mean, I'm just being honest here. Unless you're in the lower levels. Yeah, I should be okay. I was worried there, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get a hit here, but... Probably not a lot of people are using Dracoceratops, and while it's a legendary, and it's an easy legendary to create, in this particular instance, I actually think the sum of the parts is greater than the whole, and as soon as I get this incubator, I'll let you guys know what I mean by that. Looking for something good. This was a uh, Pterosaurs. That's... More Dimorphodon, and Lamborghini, and two Pandactylus. So very good. All right. There's a treasure test. There is another strike tower, and we'll continue this conversation. Here's what I mean when I say the sum of the parts is greater than the whole. If we look at Dracoceratops, it's not a bad dinosaur. It's got uh, 119 speed at level 17, 2901 health, 645 damage. Swapping in, it's going to have a 66% chance of stunning your opponent. It's got a minimal speed up strike, which is going to increase its own speed by 10% for three turns. 
it's got a cleanse, it's got greater stunning strike, which is going to do one times damage with a 75% chance of stunning your opponent. And then impact and run, which is going to do one and a half times damage before it swaps out. And all those look like pretty good things. I mean, there's there's nothing there that, that says this dinosaur is terrible by any means. But if we look over at Triceratops Gen 2, it's got, it's a common, it, it's kind of a run of the mill common. It's got a strike for one times damage, Rampage, which is going to do two times damage, which is actually pretty nice. And then it has swap in stun, which is going to gain 66% chance of a stun when swapping in. So it's, it's okay. Now, like, there's plenty that are better than this by by all means don't don't get me confused i'm not saying it's a great dinosaur but in the the commons you could do a lot worse but you could also do a lot better and that's where draco rex gen 2 comes in and you guys probably already know about draco rex gen 2. mine is at level 20 uh 22 39 health 851 damage 108 speed so it's on the slow side and really all you're using this for is a swap in like surprise because the swap in Shattering Rampage, it's the only dinosaur that has this move. Destroy shields, bypass armor, deal two times damage when swapping in. And here's the kicker about this dinosaur. It cannot swap for one turn. All the other swap in dinosaurs, you're stuck for two turns. But on this one, you're just stuck for one. Except at the highest levels against the strongest dinosaurs, what this means is you're going to be able to swap in your opponent can do nothing. Mine hits for 1702. So once I have this in my team, if my opponent has a dinosaur that I have a hard time with, say Monomimus, say uh, not Thor, but Traco, those dinosaurs are really tough for me to handle. Once I get their dinosaur under 1702, I'm swapping in and taking it out and they can't shield, their armor doesn't matter, their dinosaur is done unless they just happen to get really lucky and swap out, which typically won't happen because I'm probably in danger of getting knocked out. But it's an ultimate surprise, secret weapon. I call it I call it the sniper because it comes out from long range. But this dinosaur is better than the Dracoceratops because Dracoceratops, when it swaps in, yeah, it's gonna stun, probably, but that's not guaranteed. And if you know what damage your Dracorex Gen 2 is gonna do, that is guaranteed damage, which makes that a far superior move to the swap and stun and all the swap and stun does if it works is instead of you losing the turn whenever you swap in you are going to just stun the dinosaur and then you're not going to get hit with an initial hit but at 119 speed chances are you're going to be outsped and your opponent is going to get an attack in on you and then you're kind of left scrambling because it's not the best legendary it's not a bad legendary but it's not the best legendary so for the coming up week if in fact we are going to be getting an abundance of Triceratops Gen 2 and Draco Rex Gen 2 spawn. Similar to two weeks ago, we had two Pandactylus that was spawning all over the place, and currently with the Dimorphodon, it is spawning all over the place. As you can see, of course, there are none on my screen at the moment, but there was just a minute ago. But you guys know, if you've been playing the game over the last couple weeks, you've definitely noticed an increase in spawns. So, what this means is with these two new dinosaurs don't fuse for Dracoceratops. That's the bad play. Dart all of the Draco Rex Gen 2s that you can, and I would say just level up your Draco Rex Gen 2 as high as possible. Now, here's here's a little bit of a caveat. There, see, there's a Dimorphodon spawning right there, almost on cue. But here's the caveat to all of this. The caveat being that. If you put a ton of resources into leveling up your Draco Rex 2 between now and 1.6, after 1.6, Draco Rex Gen 2 is a prime candidate for having either a really good counter come out or getting a bit of a nerf to it. And so you could be spending resources now that may not have as much value down the road or be wasted value down the road. And if that's the case, well, then you can start working towards that Draco Ceratops. But if all you care about is today, and you want to win now, just dump all those Draco Rex Gen 2 that you're sure to see in Dart, whether it be next week or the following week, which it would probably be the following week, because that would be heading into Christmas, maybe? Maybe not. No. But close. 
Anyway, all of this is to say your best use of the DNA over next week, which may be Triceratops Gen 2, in which case then you have to wait an additional week. But whenever the Draco Rex Gen 2 does end up spawning, your best use of that DNA is to go ahead and just dump it straight into Draco Rex Gen 2 for the time being. For the second strike tower of the day, I actually paid a little more attention. It's a Diamondactylus and a Sarcorhexus. I'm going to start with Indoraptor, not because I want the easy KO, but because I'm gonna swap out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna instantly swap out into Triceratops Gen 2. Hopefully get the stun, maybe. Okay, so I didn't take an attack there. That's the benefit of swapping in the stun. I'm gonna go with a rampage here. <laughs> and again, we're just gonna have a swap test. But now I'm gonna have a 25% bleed, which I'm not overly concerned with, because I think it's only for two turns. And I did a heck of a lot of damage. I have used Diamondactylus in arena play, and my problem with it is it's really squishy. And I don't know that swapping in for 25% damage is worth getting one hit, and I think there may be one time total out of all the matches that I've used Diamondactylus where it did not get knocked out on on turn one. I'm a... Um, I'm just gonna swap in. There, there's no reason to swap in here other than I'm just swapping in. <laughs> Absolutely no reason. My my Triceratops was doing actually valiantly. My battery's low. Um, no option here but really to cleanse. And I cleansed away my, that was interesting. I cleansed away my, um, my lockdown there. I'm not going to take the stun though. I'm going to bring in my Draco Rex Gen 2. And 1702 is going to be GG to the Sargo Rixus. There's a lot of easy ways to take out those two dinosaurs. I just chose to do it this particular way. And since this was a common tower, I'm not expecting a whole lot as far as DNA goes. But, okay. I'm cool with that. Alright. So there you go. So let me know, what do you guys think about being force-fed these dinosaurs as far as hybrids? Is, is it good or is it bad? That's all I've got for today, so until next time.